Hey, my name's Robert and I just want to share a couple of ideas that I feel that may help with the rebuild of Christchurch. Uh, what I feel is, is that um, at the moment we've got a core and periphery model where we've got the central business district in one particular area and we've got like a periphery area where it's all residential and in industry and stuff. I feel that um, with the two earthquakes that we do have, this model doesn't work. What we need is we need some business hubs um, in the community so we have more of a dispersed um, business model uh, where we have particular areas where if one particular place does get affected like the eastern suburbs then we've got um, other areas of Christchurch where we can um, get back on track, get um, back on the bandwagon I suppose, get back in business as soon as possible um, to try and limit um, loss of business, loss of revenue and also uh, loss of employment as well. Um, so with that we do need to look at the infrastructure particularly with fibre. Um, fibre is really needed to be um, to, the, uh, to the house, uh, to the, you know, not to a particular cabinet at the moment or anything like that. We really need it to the house, to the building. Uh, we need to make sure that that um, is there. We also need to make sure that uh, we future proof our infrastructure such as uh, roads, sewage, and all that, um, not that um, if it fails in particular areas that we have storage areas where we can actually pump it out, um, stop relying on the fact that we're flat and we need to like you know have um, sewers that go from a certain angle to help so then if it buckles with the uh, liquefaction that it stops it and we need um, those trucks to go and pump it out, we really need to make sure that we've got pumping stations um, throughout the city. Um, that um, can be backed up by emergency generators or anything like that. Um, what I think might be a good idea um, is a land swap um, between the areas that are unbuildable, um, places where there was a lot of liquefaction, um, where it's quite damp underneath, a lot of liquefied soils. Perhaps um, swapping land which is currently used for um, green areas such as uh, Shirley um, Marshlands area where it wasn't affected as much by liquefaction replacing them with places like Aranui and putting Aranui to where those areas are. It may not be a popular idea with particular people that have bought new subdivisions and stuff but we really need to um, keep going with the product productivity of, um, of the land like if it's a, a fertile area keep it fertile able to grow or turn them into green areas we really need these people out of these areas that are going to get affected by every um, shake above 5.5 above. The cathedral, I would like it to be rebuilt, but with modern materials. Um, you can, um, I want to keep its, its identity and its heritage alive, so I would like it to be maybe retain the shape, but I don't want it to be with the stone that we have, the top heavy stone. Um, so if you've got like a tower and can just fall down, I would like it to be bendable and flexible and with a standard 8.0. The reason why I feel that it needs to stand an 8.0 is if that Alpine fault does slip, um, which is due to do. Um, with Japan, they had like a very long shake um, for a while, five minutes. That was a 9.0. Uh, when that eventually slips, same thing may happen. So we really need to make sure that Central City can withstand an 8.0 thereabouts and try and limit the damage also would like to see a lot more green zones in the central city as well. Not for aesthetic values, but also for evacuation as well. These were pretty critical um, for the times after the earthquake where people could actually go in safety. Don't really want to see people congregating on intersections and stuff, but more in safe areas where there's not buildings, glass, um, potential things that could fall over, like tree, you know, large old trees. Um, yeah. That's pretty much what I want to say. <laughs>